Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett, and today I've got another 3D model for you. Now, this week I'm going to be doing the pea shooter from Plants vs. Zombies. So, recently on my Twitter account, I did a poll, and Plants vs. Zombies won the first poll. And then I asked, which Plants vs. Zombie character would you like to see? I'll put the poll results right over here, and as you can see, the pea shooter won by a landslide. So, that is the one I am going to be doing today. Alright, guys, so without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Okay guys, and before I show you the final product, it's time for a fun fact about Chaos Core Tech. A couple of months ago, I created the Citron from Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 in Tinkercad and printed that out, and it actually became my most popular video with, I think, over 11,000 views now. That's right, so here he is. Now this little guy is beating out Thor's hammer back here, R2, my Halo Plasma Pistol. This guy came out on top. So I knew I had to do another Plants vs. Zombies character. And then boom, here we have the Pea Shooter. So as you can see, this is the model from the Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare games and not from the mobile phone games. Okay, so this model took me about five hours to complete. I created it in Fusion 360. There is a link in the description if you'd like to check that out. The program is free as long as you make less than $100,000 a year. So if you're like me, you're in the clear. Then after I was done modeling it, I sliced it to prepare for printing, and I actually finally bought Simplify 3D. So this was the first print I did on that, and holy cow did it make a difference. Um, because as you can tell, this model is not an easy print. You will need lots of supports for this, um, because there's a lot of overhanging areas that um, just are pretty hard to print. And Simplify 3D did amazing with the supports. And I noticed that it even had a smoother finish on the side of it compared to the ones I did with Matter Control. And now that might have been a settings thing that I, did, I didn't have dialed in completely with Matter Control. But out of the box, Simplify 3D did amazing with this. After that, I printed it out on my Robo 3D R1. It took about six hours to print. And I printed it at a 0.2 millimeter layer height. I found that gave me the surface finish that I was looking for. I printed it with 20% infill. And as I said before, I did use supports. And then I used a raft just to keep all the supports in place. And after that, I handed it off to my wife for painting. And she did an amazing job, as she usually does. Now, it took a little bit of cleaning up from the supports, but it wasn't bad. And then she primed it and sanded it from there. And I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it is smooth to the touch. Um, and it looks amazing. And that was mostly a result from the sanding and the priming. And then after that, she painted it using a combination of an airbrush and acrylic paints with a paintbrush. She even put some really nice details down here um, on the leaves to make them look more leaf-like. Overall, I'm really happy with how this came out, and I think Citron will be proud to have him next to him. All right, guys, as always, links are down in the description if you'd like to download these files and print one for yourself. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and get subscribed. It helps me out a lot. Also, if you guys print one of these, um, tweet me a picture. I'm at Chaos Core Tech. I always love to see what you guys are printing. 
Okay, guys, and before I leave you, I'd like to get back into showing you guys a preview so you can know what to expect for next week. It's still pretty early in the stages, but here is next week's preview. This is Beck from Mighty Number no. 9. So that's just a little treat for sticking around to the end of the video. All right, guys, that's all for me. See you next time.